Hi friends! Today I'm going to read the book Wake Up Groundhog. Tomorrow is February 2nd, Groundhog Day. Wake up, Groundhog. It was Groundhog Day in Hamlet Woods, but lazy Gregory Groundhog did not want to get up. My barrow is so warm and cozy, he thought to himself. I will rest just a little while longer, then I'll get up. Soon Gregory Groundhog was sound asleep again. Knock, knock, knock. A loud noise suddenly filled Gregory's quiet burrow. Gregory Groundhog called Sally Skunk. Are you up yet? Sally waited a moment for a reply. I was wondering, she continued, if you could tell me if spring will be here soon. I'm sure I don't know, Sally, Gregory replied, yawning. I'm still very tired. Please go away and let me sleep a little bit more. I'll get up soon. All right, Sally said softly. Thank you very much. Sally Skunk was always quite polite. She scampered off. Gregory pulled the warm covers over his head. Soon he had drifted back into a deep slumber. Thump, thump, thump. Another loud noise suddenly filled Gregory's quiet burrow. Gregory Groundhog called Philip Frog. Are you ready to come out yet? I'm very eager to learn if spring will be coming soon. Philip's deep voice boomed loudly. I'm too tired to get up right now, Philip, Gregory said in a sleepy voice. Please let me rest for a few more minutes. Then I'll get out of bed. So Philip Frog hopped up the hill. Gregory rolled over. Before long, he was snoring away. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Another noise suddenly filled Gregory's quiet barrow. Gregory Groundhog, Rosie Raccoon whispered shyly. I am so sorry to wake you, but please go away, Rosie, Gr Gregory grumbled. I know you want to find out if spring is coming, but I am just not ready to leave my cozy barrow yet. Rosie Raccoon scurried off. Gregory fluffed up his pillow and put his head down again. Call, call, call. Very loud noise suddenly filled Gregory's quiet barrow. Gregory Groundhog? Charlie Crow called in his rackety voice. Are you ready to wake up and tell me if spring is right around the corner? No, Charlie Gregory, he said, feeling very grumpy. He pulled his pillow over his ears. I'm not ready to get up yet, he told Charlie. Now would you please be quiet while I take a short little nap? Well, Charlie Crow said, giving another hoarse, rather rude call. With a loud flap of his wings, he flew off to the top of the hill. Honk, honk, honk. A very, very loud noise suddenly filled Gregory's quiet burrow. Gregory Groundhog, Silly Goose called. He pulled open the door and poked his head into Gregory's burrow. Oh dear, he said. I hope you're not still sleeping. By near, Gregory Groundhog was very grumpy. Yes, Silly Goose, he growled. I'm still sleeping. You are, Silly Goose said in surprise. But Gregory, it sounds as if you are wide awake. Oh, never mind, Silly Goose, Gregory groaned. Please just leave me alone. I will get up soon, but not until I am good and ready. So Silly Goose waddled away up the hill. Gregory Groundhog lay down again. He tried to go back to sleep, but it was no use. Gregory tossed and he turned and he tossed and he turned until finally he decided it was indeed time to get up. Gregory Groundhog climbed out of bed, yawned one last time, and crawled out of his burrow. Outside, the sun shone brightly in the blue sky. Gregory's friends were waiting for him at the top of the hill. As he reached the crest, they all rushed over. Is it time now, Gregory Groundhog, cried Charlie Crow. Can you tell us now spring will be here soon? Yes, Gregory said, smiling. Now that he was wide awake, he did not feel so grumpy. Gregory looked down. There on the ground was his shadow. Oh, well, said Philip Frog, sighing. I guess spring won't be coming soon to Hamlet Woods after all. Yes, Sally Skunk nodded sadly. When Gregory Groundhog sees his shadow, it means there will be six more weeks of winter. Silly Goose shivered. Did you say six more weeks of winter, he asked. Yes, Silly Goose, Gregory said. There will be six more weeks of cold and snowy weather. Well, in that case, goodbye, said Silly Goose. And with a flap of his wings, he started for the path that led down the hill. A moment later, the rest of Gregory's friends hurried after Silly Goose. Where are you going? Gregory called out in surprise. Philip Frog stopped and turned around. Now that we know that spring isn't coming soon, we're all going home to take a little nap, he exclaimed. A little nap, Gregory replied after waking me up. My friends are going home to take a nap. And as Gregory watched his friends hurry home, an idea popped into his head. Gregory Groundhog waited until all of his friends were tucked snugly into their warm, cozy beds, and then he woke them up. Have a great day, friends. Enjoy the snow. Bye.